Civil pasture management is synonymous with management intensive grazing or rotational grazing. Another commonly asked question, particularly by foresters, is well, how do you keep the livestock from compacting the soil or damaging tree roots or rubbing on trees and girdling trees, causing uh, negative impacts to the timber resource? The animals here will be in this this paddock. It's we have 100 cows here in about a four acre civil pasture area. They'll be in here for 24 hours before they move to the next paddock. We have 75 paddocks across 300 acres. So each paddock is grazed a, a day at a time about every 75 days or about once every 10 weeks or four or five times throughout the entire year usually about three times during the grazing season. So the animal grazing is a very intense but short duration event that occurs infrequently, about every 10 weeks. And by moving animals continuously and keeping them in a particular area for a short period of time, there's really no issue with soil compaction or animals becoming bored and begin beginning to show destructive behavior towards the trees. Whether it's cattle or sheep or goats or horses or pigs or whatever you're using for livestock, the idea is that they're not in there long enough to degrade your soil and degrade your forages. And these systems, which were hardwood forests converted into either an open pasture or a silvo pasture, the target is actually not necessarily to maintain your grasses in the ideal condition, the target is to knock back some of these tree sprouts. And a lot of these you see, you see the tips are browsed off. Those are actually from deer in the wintertime. Deer are what are browsing the tips. What the, what the cattle do in this situation is in the summertime, once these sprouts foliate, the cattle will eat the leaves to defoliate them. And two or three rounds of defoliation will stop these sprouts from occurring. If these tree sprouts become small trees, they'll shade out the grasses and you won't have any um, desirable forages in your pasture. So high intense period of grazing followed by long periods of recovery for your, for your um, forages. And the ideal thing and what, what can withstand that system are your grasses and your legumes. They're adapted to be grazed for a short period and then have three or more weeks of recovery. And then they grow to about six or eight inches and then it's once the forages are six or eight inches tall, livestock are put in again. If we look at any examples in the wild, animals are always moving. They're never staying in one place for too long. And when they do, the soil tends to get beat up. The natural cover, whether it's the grass that's dead from last year or the leaves in the forest, the leaf cover, um, it tends to be depleted so the, the ground becomes bare. Um, and then you get problems with erosion and all sorts of things. Uh, the other factor of keeping animals in one place is manure will build up and instead of being a fertilizer it becomes a potentially a pollution problem. So we found that every time we move we feel like it's a little extra work but it's so worth the effort because we're minimizing those problems and actually really fertilizing, really spreading that fertility around. Um, and so with most cases we start really simple. We bring animals on, we get to know them and we start by moving them about once a week or when it seems like that the pasture is pretty bare so you can you know you can see when the grass is not green anymore and it's time to move them and the animals often will be anxious and let you know uh, as well so um, that extra time though really pays because we've really reduced our feed costs our ducks actually forage before they go to their food which is really nice and often the sheep are going uh, for the pasture before their before their hay so um, we save a lot in feed costs, we also save a lot in terms of you know, putting up hay and buying grain and moving all that weight around can be really quite a bit of labor. So, um, and then our pasture actually improves, so every season you get better and better in terms of the production. So you know, and again in that five to ten year time frame, you could double the amount of food actually coming off of a, you know, an acre of pasture through good rotational grazing.